Hello, and we're back for some more photoshopping. Let's open up our nice Corvette again. Just a just a picture I got on my desktop, so makes it easy, makes it interesting. What we want to do, I don't really like that yellow, so let's change the colour of the car. Okay, we're going to go to our quick selection tool, or the magic wand. And we want to go around, get all the parts of the car that we want to change the colour of. So I'm, I'm single clicking here just to make sure I get what I want. But you can also change the size of the of the tool and drag it around the outside edges. But this time we definitely don't want to get the tyres like we did before. Because we don't want to change the colour of the tyres. I see the tool I've got is a little bit too big, so let's make it a bit smaller. Make the point size smaller. There we go. That looks much better. Don't worry too much about the little rough edges. And let's make sure we get everything here. Let's not worry too much about that window for now. And get the small part of the roof that's visible. Okay, looks good. There we go, we've got all the cars selected. All the parts that we're going to change colour anyway. Alright, so now we want to go into mode and just make sure it's on RGB colour. If it's on grayscale or you know any other things, you may not be able to change it properly. So now we want to go to adjustments and hue and saturation. This is where we can have some fun. So we've got three lines here. You move these lines around the hue, the saturation and the lightness to find the colour that you want. I'm thinking red looks pretty good on this car. You can play around here, get exactly how you want it. Lightness. Okay, I like that. That's a nice colour for this car, I think. And you can see there the window didn't actually get coloured in. I neither did that front stripe on the car. So that's a little trick I do, just select something outside the, the image and that will take all the, the selection off, off the car so you can reselect. So if we go back to our quick selection tool and how about we try and change the colour of this part on the bonnet. So that's nice and selected there. So again, we're going to go image adjustments, hue and saturation, and just have a play and get it to what you think looks good. Yeah, probably not up there. Yeah, it looks good dark, but you want to get some of that detail in. A little bit darker, yeah. See if we can get those stripes, the green stripes. It would look good if they were a bit reddish to go with the car. Not too dark. Yep. Ah, oh, there we go. I think mean, that looks pretty good. Okay, so not looking too bad. How about we try and darken those lights up a little bit? Okay, so I'm just using the, the lasso tool to select the outside area just to take away what we'd previously selected. And quick selection, and again, we're just going to drag over the two lights. Okay, that's selected. Yep, so again, we'll go image adjustments back down to hue and saturation and let's darken these lights up there we go much better okay You're looking pretty mean now so this tool select the outside the area so we haven't got any quick selected areas left on the car 
So there you go. So that's a quick way to change the colour of an object like a car. You can see as you go back to proper scale, it looks quite neat. And you can apply this to almost any image that you want.